I'm down in Palma filming some absolutely beautiful yachts and none more beautiful than this one, which is a 1967 Benetti. She's 33 meters and she's had a major, major refit at Pendennis Yard. It took two years. It was across, I think I'm right in saying 2017, 2018. I think refit is possibly selling it short, probably rebuild is, is perhaps more accurate because this looks absolutely fabulous. It feels like stepping back in time because basically it feels like the boat is new. We're going to step on board here and I'll give you the full tour of this one, but this is an aquatic work of art. You're going to enjoy this and I am going to enjoy showing it to you. And we're starting right here. Look at this beautiful teak on here and you can see it here as well. The woodwork on this is absolutely exquisite. We've got this great seating area here under the shade there's a large flybridge which i'll show you of course we're going to go to every area so we're looking at crew cabins and the engine space as well as the guest areas and all the deck areas and we're starting just here look at this isn't that absolutely stunning and there's a really nice meld of the traditional as i say you really feel like you've stepped back in time and yet there's little things like the lighting concealed all the way around the edge little modern touches about the place obviously things like air conditioning all that kind of stuff is all bang up to date but you don't feel it what you feel is the traditionalism of it all it's gorgeous let's head down here first of all this is the guest areas the owner's cabin is forward and of course i'll show you that but we'll start down here and we'll start at this end so there are two guest cabins here really good size this one's actually got a Pullman berth as well, so this will drop down. Brilliant, of course, we've got kids that want to bring their friends and they want a bit more capacity. We've got, as you'd expect, hanging lockers about the place. There's also an ensuite. All the cabins, of course, are ensuite. Shower in there. Toilet in around there. And then on the other side, very similar cabin, really. I love this wood panelling. Just looks gorgeous and details like this as well. Beautiful. Hanging locker again in here. Ensuite again, out through here. Got these lovely portholes about the place. And just storm shutters as well. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. And the shower in behind there. We've also got the VIP guest cabin down here, so if we come out of here and we head forward, we've also got linen closets about the place, so if you have a look, for example, in this one, we've got toiletries in there, and we've got linen over on this side. And then this is the VIP guest cabin. So we're right at the back of the boat now. You can just feel the hull starting to come in on both sides. This is a lovely big space. We've got a nice little settee to tuck yourself away. On this side then is the ensuite. Shower is in here. Toilet is in here. And on the other side of the boat, if we come across this one, is a walk-in wardrobe. There we go. Like so. So those are the guest cabins. If we head on forward, I'll show you the owner's cabin because that's, as you would expect, pretty spectacular. But imagine coming up here in the morning after a good night's sleep. What a wonderful place to emerge into. There is um, a little desk over here, folds away. This is the yacht. There she is. Absolutely beautiful. And this is a, a book all about the build and the rebuild of the yacht. It was thorough. Let's head on forward. There's a TV that rises out of this one here. And then we've got a dining table up here. This will expand. You can see it's split down the centre. So you can make that larger if you want to. And then there's storage all the way along in places like this. So we've got bottle storage in there, for example. And it's all the way across here, all the way across here. <laughs> More bottle storage. Very nice. 
All right, let's press on a little bit further. So we're coming to this area here. It's like a lobby area. There's a pantry here. And if we press on again, you can see how we've got stairs going in various directions. We're going to go this way, first of all. This is going to take us down. This is a completely separate, self-contained owner's cabin. So very private and very, very lovely. Check this out. That is pure class, isn't it? It's beautiful. What else have we got in here? We have got wardrobes, of course. Masses of storage everywhere. This is very much the kind of boat that you'd want to spend some serious time on. <laughs> I think I'd just move in, frankly. And if you did, well, you'd be very comfortable, wouldn't you? Let's head on around here. Obviously, all storage here, not going to open it all, we'll be here all day, but then a very nice ensuite. So we've got the twin sinks here. Big shower there. And you'll notice there's two doors, and the reason for that is because that one is a toilet. And so is that one. So you've got two separate individual toilets in here. Beautiful. Okay, let's press on a bit further. I'll show you actually just in behind here, more storage in places like this. So really big closets for all your clobber and so on. You could spend some serious time on this yacht. Okay, let's come back out of here Head on back up, and I think while we're in this area, I'm going to show you into some of the crew areas now. So, we come around here, there's a day heads over here. So that's in there, so that's a main deck, day heads. And then we can head down from here, and this takes us into the crew areas. So what we have here is, laundry facilities are over on this side. So the washing machines, the dryers, all that kind of stuff. And then on this side is the galley. And this is interesting, this is a dumb waiter that goes right up to the flybridge. And again, you can see that beautiful meld of a modern and traditional. So we've got the latest Miele cooking equipment, and dishwashers and all that kind of stuff in here. So she's bang up to date and yet she doesn't lose that traditional feel. Okay, back out of here. If we step down here now, there are four crew cabins down here. There's also a separate captain's cabin. I'm not going to open them all because the crew are on board, but I've been given permission to look in this one just to give you an idea. There we go. These all have single beds, so the crew all get a bedroom of their own. So yeah, four of those and two toilets. There's a fridge down here as well, so more refrigeration. And the toilets are, there we go, like that and a separate shower as well. And there is, let's flip that back off, exactly the same on this side. And then there's another crew cabin back here and two more down here. And if we carry on right the way through, we can come up this ladder, and this is the crew mess. It's not a ladder, it's steps. I don't know why I said ladder. <laughs> there we go. So they've got this area up here in the bow. Got TV in here. We can monitor the boat through the uh, CCTV system. Again, we're back to that modern technology melded with the traditional. Pantry is up here as well. This used to be a crew area, or a crew sleeping area rather, so you used to have beds in here. Um, and this used to be a toilet, it's not anymore. But that's why it still has the vacant thing on there. That's now a pantry. There we go. And you can see some of the, for example, emergency crew uh, exit, straight up through there, 
that takes you straight out onto the deck. So that is another way out of this area. Not something that you would normally need, but it is there for an emergency. Brilliant, that is the crew area. The other thing I can show you while we're down here is the engines, because if we wander straight on back through here, you can see it just going straight past them here, but there's bits of storage everywhere along in places like this as well. There we go, that's where we came down. We'll go back up there in a minute, but first of all, we'll take it into here, where we will find a beautiful pair of Detroit diesel engines. Now these are a pair of 16V71s. They are very much a, uh, well the boat is, a very much a displacement cruiser. It's not a fast boat, it's not supposed to be. So you're looking at about 13, 14 knots flat out, but typically she's running at about 10 knots. That's the usual cruising speed. And at that sort of speed, you're gonna get about two and, two and a half, two and three quarter thousand miles that's the kind of range you got. So it is a proper long distance, serious displacement cruiser. If we come on around here, I love these cages across here. Look at this. This is proper traditional stuff, isn't it? Just beautiful. Generators are down here as well, two of those. There we go, everywhere. Just looks immaculate. It's a very, very thorough job they did on the refit of this. Very thorough. Let's come around here. Air conditioning systems around here. Another generator around here. Fantastic. That looks like, I think I'm right in saying, another route out back in that corner. So that'll take you straight out onto the deck. And all of the electrics along here as well. Or control panels, I should say. Fantastic. Okay, let's press on a little bit further. Again, you can see all the modern master bolt systems across here. Sort of stuff you find in brand new boats. It's really neatly done. So you get all the modern facilities, but all of that incredible style. All right, let's come back up here. I'm going to take you now up to the pilot house. We've got access straight onto a side deck here. We're going to go this way. So we're going forward now. If I can just reorientate you. That was back into the saloon, past the pantry. And that was forward down to the owner's cabin. We're going to back it up and we're going to go this way. So this takes us up to the the bridge. Look at this. You know what's coming next, don't you? This <laughs> is proper little ship stuff. Look at the wheel on here. It's fantastic. And again, you've got all this beautiful modern technology. You can see the camera systems here looking down at the engines. We've got navigation. We've got the traditional engine instrumentation as well. Massive compass on here. Also got the uh, track stabilization on here so the yacht is stabilized we've got um, communications of course thrusters all that kind of stuff but yeah that is really rather special we've got seating up here so if you want to come along and enjoy the ride they can do and the other thing we've got up here then is the captain's cabin that's back here so we come through here's a desk here do a bit of work and then double bed and then, of course, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? <laughs> the ensuite with a separate shower in there. As I say, the boat is in use. I'm not going to start opening cupboards and things. But you get the idea. That's actually a pretty nice cabin. Superb. Let's come out this side and we'll head forward. You can head aft, of course, from here, straight back down to the cockpit. We want to go this way. We've got the Portuguese bridge up here. And then there is a tender up here on the foredeck. There is space for a larger tender as well. I think that that is probably the emergency route I was showing you for the crew to come out of. 
That looks stunning, doesn't it? Look at the gleaming stainless steel on here and the brilliant white. It's absolutely fantastic. OK, let's press on down this side. A couple of things to show you down here. Firstly, there's another doorway back into the wheelhouse. We've got uh, fast crew routing straight up onto the flybridge if they want it. That's not a normal guest route. That's the door that we saw in that kind of lobby area. This is interesting. You notice it's got teak on here, and that's because this will hinge out flat, like a sort of balcony, but then it has steps that extend out of it. That's why it's quite thick. They drop down. So the tender can come alongside. People can just walk up the steps and onto the boat through here and then through that door I just showed you. But we're going to head on back. Look at this lighting in underneath here. Again, all very traditional. And again, I keep going back to it, but this woodwork is just stunning. OK, this is the access to the flybridge. You can see here the Bonetti logo on the side. We're going to come around here. And this then is the flybridge. Look at that. Now you'll notice there's a crane on here and that is um, so that you can lift a tender or a sailing boat or whatever else and keep it up here on the deck when you're underway. Obviously, if you're just going locally, you'd probably tow it, but if you're going some distance, you can lift it up, put it on the deck, and you're good to go. When it's not here, of course, you've got steamer chairs along here. And then we can come right up. That's that where that ladder was that I was pointing out. As we came out, you can just see it coming up there. This is um, a bit of storage for canopies and that sort of stuff. And then we could come right up here. This would be the ultimate lunch spot, wouldn't it? It's catered for by this area. So we've got things like, we have the right one first. <laughs> there we go, barbecue underneath there. And then over here, ice maker, fridge. So again, all the modern amenities. And then this wonderful, dining area, relaxing area, call it what you will, in the shade of the Bimini. And then the view from up here, of course, is absolutely magnificent. If you come around here, again, look at this table, it's gorgeous. There we go, that's the view out across the front of the yacht. Good morning, Palmer. And the last thing to show you, this is my favourite area, I think. Come and check this out. We're going to finish up here. Look at this back here, isn't this lovely? That is fantastic, isn't it? What a wonderful, wonderful spot to relax and enjoy and just chill out with your friends or your family. I'm going to finish up on this corner here. And I am going to say massive thanks to West Nautical because they organised this tour. Um, huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching. Love to know all your thoughts on this one. I think that is a touch of absolute magic. I love it. Let me know what you think and we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, lovely.